mouse craftsman runs doesn't run too bad it's smoking there a bit uh, some water and oil got in the exhaust I had it up on its side I had to end up replacing all the fuel lines the uh, fuel tank grommet which I'll show you the old one in a second uh, this obviously had ethanol in it I uh, went to trying to blow some air through the lines and I could hear it hissing out from uh, right around here and there was a huge crack in the fuel line then I uh, unhooked it there because I figured okay I just move the fuel filter back and I tried to blow air through it again and I reached underneath all the fuel lines are rotted so I went to take the fuel lines off because I had fuel line for it and they're all mush so like that uh, push lawnmower I had a while back all the fuel lines were completely mush and the grommet basically was mush as well luckily the parts store had a grommet I went to Napa bought all new fuel line for this I got new fuel line for the other tractor out in the country so if I'm going to do one, I'm going to do them both. It only costs 30 bucks to do the fuel line. The grommets were 3 bucks a piece. So you cannot get them on Amazon or any other part supplier website for that price and get them shipped. See, I'm trying to push, I always try to push, support your local guys. And clearly, um, they, had to, they had what I needed in stock. It's a really common part right now due to all the ethanol fuel. Um, there was some water in the cylinders. I had pulled both spark plugs out because I was just cranking, cranking, cranking as back frames with the carburetor. Um, wouldn't go clean the plugs, wipe them up with paper towel, put them back in, fired right up. Um, the carburetor. It's good. I don't have to get a carburetor for this. Surprisingly, the conditions that this tractor was sitting in, you would think that carburetor would be junk, especially being on an Intec. I was able to clean it up. It has the stock bowl on it. I had to put a new backfire prevention solenoid in it. That one was completely uh, bad. It was uh, rusted up. If I can find it, I may show it um, when I pause the video. The bowl I was able to clean up because all the other bowls I had weren't, weren't much better than the one that was in here. And I was, I was able to clean up the bowl that was on here. I put a different uh, main jet in it. I had one from another carburetor. And I basically did a quick carburetor clean and it's good to go. I'm going to put some air in that back tire, put the transmission in gear, and see if this transmission is any good. The way this sits, this engine's worth about 400 bucks. If the transmission's good, we're going to keep it as an entire tractor, and this will be getting the 46 inch deck, like I've been mentioning in the previous few videos. So we're going to, going to see what happens, we'll put it in gear, see if we got a charging system. Also, I mentioned I had to repair a wire right here. It's actually the backfire prevention solenoid positive lead. I'm happy it didn't arc off the frame. Um, I have not had to do anything on the electrical side besides tape up that wire on this tractor. So the electrical side is good. Um, the electrical side on the other tractor I got is good, and which is weird. That tractor was sitting in a completely different situation. Electrical side on that one is crap. So all new fuel lines, but that one there had good fuel lines. Um, and I bought fuel lines for the other tractor just in case. Because next time I go out there, I am fairly far from a parts store, about a half hour, 45 minutes from the parts store. I don't want to keep on running back and forth to the parts store to get stuff when I'm out in the country. So I'm going to go down there prepared. That's why last time I went down there to get that tractor running, I, came, I went there prepared. I brought what I figured I needed, and then we were able to get that tractor running. So next step on this, we're going to take it for a ride. Got to pump that tire up. And we're going to see what this will do, see if it will start back up, and uh, we'll go from there. And I'll start putting the engine back together. Yes, I'm going to leave the top cover off the engine. I know a lot of people are going to comment and say, oh, it needs that for cooling. For the short run I'm going to be doing on this, the engine's not going to get that hot, and it will be perfectly fine. Um, Redneck right Computer Geek uh, used to run a Kohler single with no top cover for years, cutting grass. So, yes, they help with cooling. But it's not going to make a big deal for how short I'm going to drive this. I know I got a lot of flack when I did that on the John Deere. But uh, there we go. Okay, these are the three main parts I ended up having to change. Here is the original fuel tank grommet. There was another piece to this right here, a little bit of a nipple. Um, the elbow piece stays with the tank. It's good. Actually, it comes off the, with the grommet, but this is a separate piece. You put this on first, then you stick the elbow up in there, and it helps hold the grommet in place. This is the original main jet of the carburetor. This is how bad that bowl was at the bottom, and I was able to actually get that clean. Um, 
there was no worth it was not worth my time trying to clean this put it back together and have it not work i had another one that was really nice and clean so i used that i really don't like taking those intact carburetors off on the john deere i had to do about three or four different times when i was trying to get that clean and um i, must, I wasn't about to go through it on this one and here is back pipe backfire prevention solenoid i might hold on to this because from here down it's good so if i ever get into a situation where i want to nip one of these off and run without it but you guys know me i do not run without these i have one that still will screw in to just about any carburetor you can even put these on a single cylinder and if you do want to do an, an elimination these do work all you got to do i know doc sprocket has showed us multiple different times pull that all the way up to the top get a grinder or some side cutters nip that off but i do run them they are stock um equipment and they also do help uh cut off the fuel flow and prevent uh over uh prevent um flooding and obviously backfiring so that's pretty much it next we'll be uh, attempting to drive that tractor or will most likely be a drive video of the tractor i'm not going to show pulling out of there and uh, driving out off my property i'll show it once i get out to the road so i'll talk to them later please keep it right next like always and uh Please comment.